So let's talk a little bit about matching pitch. Usually it's not an ear thing, usually it's a mechanical thing. Something like 5% of the world have trouble singing in tune. So here's middle C, which is C4. Uh, guys, you might want to do it down an octave if you're a baritone. Now, how I approach that note is important. I hear the note, I take a breath, I picture singing it, I decide on the vowel, all of this in the split second before I actually sing it. That little mental preparation and the physical breath preparation are so important. So, ah, did you hear my voice go, ah? That was <clears throat> little interference in my vocal folds. Ah, so I made a correction by getting my breath a little bit more stable. E, o. If the note is going sharp, it means you're pushing too hard. O, hear that's sharp. If I go flat, it's too relaxed, too dropped. O, can you hear how that's painfully out of tune? <laughs> Remember too, very important, that your voice, as I mentioned earlier, is much more flexible than the hammers of a piano or the notes on a synthesizer, which are very fixed to however it's tuned. Usually that A is 440 hertz. So if I'm singing this pitch, this exact A4, my vocal folds are vibrating 440 times a second. So there's a lot of activity in there. Down here, it's half that 220. So when you're approaching a note, what you don't want to do is ho, oh, hi, who, he, unless that's part of your sound. Hi, yeah, hoo, hoo. But if I'm doing you don't want to hear me slide into every note. So practice a clean approach even if your style is going to have more sliding, a lot of pop songs do that, for instance. That is because you want to have control over your voice rather than just one way that you sing everything. Another thing to work on is intervallic movement. So, for instance, an interval of a fifth, do, do, and back to the octave. Do, 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 do,